France. On to you, Mr. Dolan. You've called Vladimir Putin's actions in Ukraine disgusting. You say America needs to be stronger. What more would you like to see the United States do in Ukraine? 60 seconds. To be clear, I'm the only one that said that Donald Trump's statement about calling Putin a genius and savvy was disgusting. No one else on the stage even has the guts to stand up to that. We need to make sure that uh, Ukraine has the humanitarian aid and the military they, aid that they need to defend themselves. But what I will never do is accept that anyone on this stage is going to say to the, to the Ukrainian people, we don't care about you. We're standing 12 miles from where my wife and I prayed and rallied with the Ukrainians because they were fighting for liberty and their lives. Imagine how Putin must feel when a candidate for the United States Senate is saying, I don't care that you invade a, company, a country. I don't care that you're committing war crimes. Well, J J.D., I think you have the opportunity now to apologize to my friends, the Ohio Ukrainians, because you have caused them additional pain, additional sorrow at a time when it's very, very difficult for them. We must stand up for Ukraine, and I will never, ever say that we, we can do two things at once in America, and I will never leave people behind. Uh, Mr. Dolan, thank you. I do want to give you 15 seconds, Mr. Vance, to reply to that since he called you out directly. Well, it's interesting to hear a lecture on strength from a guy who changed the name of the Cleveland Indians to the Cleveland Guardians, which of course was a joke. I never said I don't care about the people of Ukraine. I said the matter of what happens to Ukraine is not in our vital national interest. It's statesmanship to separate your emotions as a personal matter from what we should do as public policy. That's all it is. Well, uh, J.D., when you parachute back into Ohio, seconds, you don't sir. understand that there are tens of thousands of Ukrainian people whose families and relatives are being killed. And as a U.S. senator, I'm going to stand up for them, and I'm also going to make sure America can do two things at once. Thank you, Matt, Mr. Dolan. I, I, we are going to move on now. We have okay. to.